you know, when when we when we did the bulk concept, uh, some of us thought, well, maybe someday we'll put something like this into production, and we were kind of vaguely thinking about it. But it was a concept cover, and it wasn't, an, and there was nothing to prepare us for the reaction that the thing got at the uh, at the 07 Detroit show. And once we got over that reaction, we told ourselves, gee whiz, we're really on to something. We, we have stumbled on the mother boat here. And uh, now we've got to figure out how to get something like this into production. So then we immediately put a team together to investigate ways of getting it into production. And the vehicle very quickly evolved away from the concept car into a more production feasible form. Normally, you know, for normal vehicles, you like to stay closer to the concept car. And I think by and large, we've done, over the years, we've done a pretty good job of that. Recently, uh, Pontiac Solstice was, if you don't look at the, at the door handles, you can't tell. Um, the, certainly, the Cadillac Provoke, uh, the SRX is like dead on. Uh, the Buick Invicta concept is like 99% the new lacrosse. And the Camaro hardly changed. So in cars where function and aerodynamics aren't as critical as they are in the whole, we, we try to, and then we, we know much more about the car than we had. We knew nothing about the bolt or how big the battery pack would be or anything. I mean, we were, it was a concept. And it was just after the show, the reaction was so phenomenal that that's what we got with it. And I'm, I'm not worried about the fact that it changed. And we're, we're deliberately keeping this, normally you would now keep the car secret until, because we've got about almost another two years of development. But we, we decided from the beginning that this is uh, going to be a very open program with constant media interaction, uh, constantly informing uh, the press and even our competitors on where we stand with the technology, uh, because we we could not discount uh, the, the possibility of failure. In this so we didn't want to keep it secret, 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 and then after 18 months say we have some bad news that didn't work. Um, at which point we would have no credibility at all because everybody would say, well, you guys just canceled the program and now you're telling us it didn't work. Uh, in order to preclude that, we have been very open with where we are, how many battery packs we've procured, who the potential suppliers are, when the first engineering vehicles were built. We've let selected media actually drive the engineering vehicles. Uh, Chris Payne of killed the electric car fame, drove it, drove it yesterday, <laughs> as, as, did, as did several others. And, um, and as we develop the so-called mule vehicles, of which we'll have about 50, and they'll be in Chevrolet cruise buses, because it's fundamentally the same architecture, and it's very easy to build bolts out of cruises, except they'll look like Chevy cruises. We'll be able to use those on the highways, and we'll have about 50 of them by the end of this year. We're building three a week. Next year we'll have uh, about 100 vehicles that, that look like the Volt with the, with the final bodywork, but they will be production vehicles. And in 10, we will have vehicles that are actually made by manufacturers, not engineering. And we'll have a, a, a pretty huge fleet. So I think if we were some other car company, we, we could probably claim late niners production start, except we're not going to do that. We're going to consider production start when dealers have cars for customers. Uh, and we wanted to keep it open, and, and as we get more cars, you're going to see more and more media events, and we have the, uh, were any of you at, at any of the battery briefings? Yeah, so mm -hmm. we, we want to make this program totally open, so that if in the now increasingly unlikely event, something goes wrong, um, the media will say, well, gee, yeah, we understand that because they've been telling us for months that this was a seemingly insurmountable hurdle. 